Now, many of you may know that Kenya and Rwanda recently signed a cooperation agreement on 10 key areas that include the agriculture and cooperative sector, where Rwanda seems to be making headway in tackling food insecurity. Citizen TV's Wahiga Maura recently visited the National Solar Powered Irrigation Project in eastern Rwanda, a project set up to improve on-farm productivity through investments in proper land, water and input utilization and the coordination of more than 2,000 farmers owning a combined acreage of 1,173 hectares of land. Take a listen to Wahiga's story. 115 kilometers east of Kigali lies Lake Nasho in the Kirehe district of the eastern province. It is here that a seven-year-old farming project has begun to bear fruit. Before the collaboration between the government of Rwanda and the Howard G. Buffett Foundation, life here was very different for the 2,099 farmers of the Nasho Cooperative. I remember when you came here, most of the farmers have left their land. The land was empty, no one could grow anything here. At the time of our visit, the rains had just started pounding the region. But the farmers here tell us that rain is rare here. The average of, uh, of, uh, of rain was uh, 300 millimeter per year. You can imagine that it's a very, it's, that one is, for maize to be, to, be, to be ready, they need around 500 millimeter to be ready to be harvested. The National Irrigation Project started back in 2017, officially inaugurated in 2020. It supports over 1,100 hectares of land. 2,100 farmers are supported by this particular project, with the aim being to make this area food secure to feed the rest of the country and eventually the region. Part of the 7 billion Kenya shillings investment was the establishment of a center pivot irrigation technology which has helped the farmers improve their livelihoods by enabling them to grow crops all year round and allowing for a more efficient use of inputs such as water and fertilizer. We do grow cereals, maize especially, and the, the other half we do grow uh, legumes, either soybean or common beans. The farmers still own the land, and but, but the land has higher value because it is under irrigation and uh, the productivity has increased very significantly. You can hear from them what they used to have per hectare. Some of the farmers here, they, they can get more than 10 tons uh, per hectare uh, for their maize crop. There are 63 pivot irrigation devices like this one scattered across this land, with each pivot serving 60 farmers who each own one hectare of land. But beyond the hardware inputs is the multiplying factor of the cooperative system, which, if well run, could also transform Kenya's agricultural sector. So they are organized in one pivot. They have a committee of farmers who help others to to get everything at the same time. So that committee works with the cooperative agronomist, and then if it's, if it's for harvesting, agronomists advise farmers when to harvest. Cooperative uh, supply them like uh, shelling machines, bags for loading and everything. And then for planting, it's agronomists who do rotation. We have got uh, 70,000 hectares irrigated. In uh, Rwanda. In Rwanda. Uh, and we, uh, under the plans I talk, uh, talked about earlier, we want to achieve 100,000 uh, hectares in the next two years, over 100,000 hectares. The brokers also exist in the national cooperatives ecosystem here, but they don't have the capacity to disrupt the engagement between the national cooperative and the farmers. Between one week and two weeks, farmers get their money on their bank account. But this project, like any other, has not operated for the last seven years without its fair share of challenges. The only challenge we are getting is, uh, is uh, maintenance. You know, it's a big scheme. We have some few leaks, leakages, some because we, we use HDTP. Also, you know, farmers' management is also another issue. But uh, the, the government have helped us a lot. 
Closer home in Kenya, President William Ruto has pledged to revive the Galana Kulalu project. And in January this year, he directed the National Irrigation Authority to work together under a public-private partnership to produce food on the 10,000 acres of land starting with maize in February 2023. The progress of the Galana Kulalu project at the moment remains unclear. Wahiga Mwaura, Citizen TV.